I, I panicked. So I, I went in for a hug and I said some random stuff to her like, I see you. I see you doing your thing. Hope you staying safe out here in these streets. Before you watch this video, I would seriously suggest you go watch part one. I will link that in the description. Please go watch that to get the full context of this video. And also, please leave a like on this video as it does help push out the video to the YouTube algorithm. And with that being said, let's get into the story. So as we sat there watching the movie, yes indeed that was gonna be the last time we ever hung out together. And that's because I did meet somebody else, I ain't gonna lie to you, I wasn't tied down to her so you know I was out there on the prowl. And I met a beautiful human being, a beautiful soul, she was dark skinned, with a big afro, she had all the qualities you would want in a female. Let's call her Jenny. You see the thing with Jenny and I was that, we caught a vibe real quick, we chilled a lot, we got comfortable. And not too long after we met, I made it official. Yes, she became my girlfriend. What Ashley couldn't do in eight months, Jenny did in two. So there was a day that I was scrolling through Instagram, scrolling through my feed, and I just happened to come across a post that Jenny had just posted a few minutes ago. It was a picture of her and two of her friends. So I start, you know, analyzing the picture because you know I'm trying to look at my girl. And I'm looking at her friends too, I'm like, okay, she cool, she not bad. Oh, my girl look nice. Wait, hold on, is that Ashley? It was, I was so shocked. I was pretty much rendered speechless. My body was frozen and also the situation called for a moment of self-reflection. That was the very first time, the very first time I actually realized how bad of a person I was to Ashley. Let's check the facts. First thing I did was to trick her to thinking that I was broke so she keeps spending money on me or cooking me food. Secondly, we hung out a lot and she built a deep emotional connection to me. Thirdly, she finally musters up the courage and the confidence to tell me how she really feels about me and what I do. I shut her down like an asshole. And to top it off, I am in a relationship with one of her friends who got that title at a shorter period of time without doing half of the things Ashley did. Overall, it's a bad look. I didn't even know they were friends, but to her, it might just look like a slap in the face. So yeah, it did take that one picture for me to put everything into perspective. I snap out of my shocking state, I rush over to Jenny and I basically start panicking and explaining the whole situation that happened and I basically tell her that I don't think it's a good idea for her and Ashley to be hanging out because she might find out it's just an awkward situation overall, it don't make me look good. She responds by saying, relax, I'm not gonna stop hanging out with her, she's my friend and you're a dickhead, plus she doesn't know we're dating. At that point, I couldn't even be bothered to argue because I was already tired from my mental state and my physical state that I was like, what are the chances we even run into each other? I don't even be out like that, so I'm just gonna let this guilt wear on me till it wears out. So fast forward a couple weeks, school's back in session, I'm in class, bored, don't remember what class I was in, but I remember we had a professor that was handing out some extra credit opportunity. And the extra credit was to go to one of our classmates events he was throwing and take a picture with him. Now, the classmate was a DJ, we're gonna call him Josh, he was one of my good friends. So we were to go to his event, take a picture with him and send it to the professor. You get your extra credit, easy money. So cut to the event, I go there, I take my picture, I'm leaving because I wasn't about to be chilling there, my partying days was over. So as I am walking past the dance floor, guess who I run into? Yes, Ashley. Out of everybody in the world, I just had to run into Ashley. And it was pretty uncomfortable because at this point, she probably knew I was dating her friend. It was so awkward because neither of us was saying anything. We were just staring at each other for like two minutes straight in pure silence while the music was playing in the background. And I'm not gonna lie, I panicked. So I, I went in for a hug and I said some random stuff to her like, I see you. I see you doing your thing, hope you staying safe out here in these streets. It was really nice to see you again. Then I dipped so quick because the guilt I was feeling would not bring me to have a conversation with her. And that was officially the last time we ever saw each other again. So fast forward a couple days later, I'm hanging out with Josh and we're just basically talking about his event. He's telling me how the rest of the night went. And he basically tells me that he met a female and they already kicking it off and he just starts describing her, going into detail about how she looks, her mannerisms, how she acts and everything. And the more detail he gave me, 
the more familiar this particular female sounded. So the more detail he gave me, I got more inquisitive. Then I just outright asked him, like, are you talking about a girl named Ashley? He was like, yeah, you know her? I'm like, uh, do I know her? Um, yeah, 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 I know her. Like, my family, you know, we used to, we used to, um, you know, get busy. He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, we, we used to kick it back in the day. You know, we got, we got busy. After I said that, he tried to play it off. He's like, man, you mess with her? Man, I ain't even jacking her like that, man. She for the streets. I ain't trying to deal with your seconds, man. I might just do my thing and kick her through the curb. But all that was a front because by the end of that conversation, it looked like he had just gotten some life-altering news. He looked defeated and disappointed to say the least. It was a sad sight to see, but I thought I was being a good friend just letting him know before he got into a relationship with her and getting blindsided with this information. And what also made this whole thing weird was, that was one of the last conversations we both had. Because after that, he started distancing himself and pretty much didn't want to have anything to do with me. It was kind of disappointing, but that's how it played out. We both graduated, both lost contact, never spoke again, really. So here's an interesting time jump. Four years later... This was around the time I started thinking if I wanted to do story time animation videos. So I started thinking about stories. I thought about this one. And it made me kind of go search up Ashley and see what she was up to. Uh, you would not believe what I saw when I searched her up. Her and Josh got married. Yes, what a plot twist. They got married. I was so shocked when I saw that, but I was also happy for them because Ashley wanted a relationship, but she got a whole marriage. And Josh didn't let what I said to him stop him from going for what he wanted, which was her. So they both got a happy ending while I was left in the dust to drown in my own guilt and anguish in my own sorrow. No, no I'm playing, I'm playing. But I did eventually hit Ashley up just to apologize for my actions. Even though it was four years after the fact, I felt like it was something I still needed to do because the guilt was still there. So she accepted my apology. She said no hard feelings. We were good. And uh, yeah, we left the conversation at that. I didn't need to have no more conversations with her because, you know, out of respect to her husband, we're not cool and I'm pretty sure he wouldn't want her talking to me. So we left it at that and uh, that was it. So, moral of the story, treat people how you want to be treated. Do not lead people on. Even though you tell them your intentions, sometimes they think they could change your mind and it might just take you leaving the situation for the betterment of them. Yeah, let that one marinate. Anyways, please, please, please like the video. YouTube don't be pushing out my videos. If you guys like the video more, YouTube might push it out. I appreciate you guys continued support, and I'd appreciate it if you do that. And, um, yeah, please like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.